Hello everyone, this is Jake Kelly and James Harvey and we will be talking about the classifications of animals by Jake Kelly and James and TV. TV. Yes, so let's start. Classifications of animals. So there are vertebrate and invertebrate. Yes, vertebrate animals include warm, the warm-blooded and the cold-blooded ones. So Warm-blooded animals include mammals and birds. Yes. So some of the examples of mammals are polar bear and humans. Yes. 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 Just like this one. Baby and yes. Mom the mother taking care of baby. So anyway, also birds. Birds. Some examples of birds are flamingos Bow and par parrot. That's right, Kelly. Parrot and now we'll fish. start with the cold blooded one. So in fish we include we included clam fish, fish and milk, milk fish. fish. Like yes, this. milk fish. So in reptiles there are turtles and crocodiles. Yes. So amphibians we included salamanders and what are these Kylie? Frog. Yes, that's right, Kylie. So in the invertebrate animals, there are there are animals that invertebrate that has legs and those that have that have no legs. So yes. These are the animals with three pairs of legs. The ant and cockroaches. And with more than three Sp pairs of legs, spider and scorpion. Yes. So those animals that don't have legs are also invertebrate. So these are the ones that are worm-like, and these are the ones that are not. So this is called leech. What about this, Kylie? What do you think is this? Worm. Yes, that's right. It's a worm. It's an earthworm. So, this one is a snail and also a not worm like animal is a squid. So, that's right. All around the world, many different types of animals are present. Many animals are quite similar to each other, yet yeah, they're almost the same. Well, others are different from others. Yes. So animals can be classified based on their similarities. Yes. So what like I said before there are invertebrates and vertebrates. So animals with a backbone are called vertebrates. Yes, Kylie. So Kylie, can you give me just one example of a vertebrate? Anything? Spider. I meant in vertebrate, not invertebrate. It like can be this. anything like a dog or a cat. Yes, tiger. Yeah, those animals Bear. are vertebrates. Yes, polar bear. Yes, they are also vertebrates and they are included to mammals. Yes. Yes. So these vertebrate animals Yes, they can also be found in oceans, lands, rivers, forests, mountains, and even the deserts. Yes, this group can be further divided into smaller groups by their characteristics. They are fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. So, animals that lack the backbone are called in vertebrates yes Kylie invertebrate so these animals are found in ponds oceans lands and other water bodies but no but yes they can be also found in land just like the earthworm like that yeah the earthworms and all, all different kinds of worms yes and also other insects so invertebrates fall under six groups namely annelids molluscs arthropods arachnids echinomoders and protoza 
Yes. The main difference between vertebrates and invertebrates is that invertebrates like insects and flatworms do not have a backbone or spinal column. Yes. Examples of vertebrates include humans and birds and snakes. Yes. That's right. Mm. Kylie, this is educational learning. So what do you think? Is it really fun? Yes. Yes, fun. Be happy. That's why we're here. We're learning, learning everyone. Yes. So worm. Yes. Spider and cat. Which of these animals has a backbone? That is the question, Kylie. So, Kylie, you have only one chance to pick which of these animals have a backbone. Just like yes, have our bones. just like what what we discuss. Yes. So, just like. What we learned before, vertebrate animals Cats. include mammals, also amphibians, reptiles, yes, and all lots of things. So what do you think there is a Where? animal that has a backbone? Cat. That's right, the cat. Exactly. Right, Kylie. Get the right answer. So which feature do fish, amphibians, reptiles, and birds and mammals all have? Uh, for me, I think they all have the backbone. Yes. Did you get the right answer? Yes. Just tell us in the... Yes. So, which of these animals are classified as vertebrates? What do you think, Kai? A snail, spider, or dog? Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with dog. Yes. Because they have a backbone, which yes. makes them vertebrates. And for the next question, so what would a human be classified as? Yes, just like what we this our last lesson. Yes, the question. They are included to mammals, which are warm-blooded, and which means they are B, a vertebrate. Yes. Yes. So. The question is, is Kylie a vertebrate or invertebrate? Okay, so just we've just um, given Kylie just an example. So what do you guys think? Kylie, what do you think? Are you a vertebrate or invertebrate? This. Oh, you mean vertebrate. Yes, you got the correct answer, Kylie. So, amphibians versus reptiles. Yes, we'll be discussing up more on about amphibians and reptiles. Yes, so we're going to discuss about amphibians versus reptiles. Yes, so here we go. Amphibians are known to live dual lives as they spend their half life in water and remaining half on land. Mm. So that's so cool. They can prefer to live on land and also in water. Yes, these are great animals. So amphibians also have porous skin, which requires moisture. They use gills as well as lungs for breathing. Whoa. Wow. Yes. In water, on land, and on land respectively, Yes, so while reptiles are the group of animals that live only on land, yes, they breathe through lungs and lay eggs. They have scales on their body and function to retain moisture. So the essential difference lies in their life cycle and physical appearance. So I guess reptiles aren't so bad after all. Yes, so amphibians. these are amphibians. 
Yes. Frog. So, this is a frog, and this is, these are salamanders. Yes. So, anyway, reptiles can be also viviparous or viviparous, and have four legs. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, one, Despite two, these, three, these animals shared many similarities, and this is the reason that in earlier times there was no different zoological classification between them. Yes, these identical features are that amphibians and reptiles belong to the same phylum and subphylum. Yes, this ectotic. Femic, yes, cold-blooded, uses camouflage for protection, and are omnivores. Yes. yes. So later on, it was found that reptiles transitioned from amphibians millions years ago. Yes. Wow. Wow. It's really a long time ago. So, which was due to a change in the environment and other evolutionary process. And next we have reptiles. So this one is the snake. What about this one, Kylie? Turtles. Yes, there are both turtles. How about this one? Crocodile. It's crocodile. This is a chameleon. Yes. So the branch of zoology that deals with the study of the reptiles and amphibians is known as herpetology. While herpers is the name given to the person, while herpers is the name given to the person who keeps these animals, yes. With this, we we will be considered the essential points to differentiate between amphibians and reptiles. So, yes, yes. So, amphibians and reptiles are really really different from each other yes that's it for today guys i hope you learned something and enjoy this video please. please like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video thank you for watching bye bye, bye.